Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am privileged to be joined today on the summit by Coach Luke Ward from Trinity International, whose Trojans have come away as champions in the NCCAA in 2022. First, congratulations, Coach. I think that's a, a fantastic honor. What a run through the playoffs that you had there in the NCCAA. And you finish it off with a fantastic five-set victory over Columbia International, last season's champions. So talk us about that. Talk to us about that championship match. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we knew going into uh, into it and being there last year at Nationals that they were a tough team, and uh, they had the opportunity to play in the NAI opening round. Uh, very deserving, uh, very tough, very athletic, and. Um, you know, fortunately, we got a chance to scout them and spend some time watching some of their games uh, since they were in the other pool. And, um, you know, even through the scout, we knew that, you know, once if we made it to the championship match and they made it, that it was just going to be about speed and power. And uh, whichever team passed the best and served the best um, was going to, you know, come out, come away with it. So, um, yeah, we played really strong in that first set. We came out just blocking them and, and, it was very emotional for us and we, we were firing on all cylinders, but of course in volleyball, um, you don't get to keep, you know, you keep that one set, but then it's zero, zero next set. Um, <laughs> yeah. and I felt like they rallied and adapted a little bit. Um, they did that again, adjusted to us in the third set and then fourth set, we, um, made some different subs, changed our lineup where we wanted to start. Um, and I saw us starting to play a little bit more like ourselves. Um, I thought it was interesting that all four sets weren't close um, when you look yeah. at the score, um, but the, you know, the final set, the fifth set being the closest. And um, we were, we just made plays and we had athletes made plays down the stretch that just helped us uh, finish it off. You know, it is interesting how momentum's change and shift literally from set to set sometimes. And, and it's a wide margin of victory once and then, the other way, the, yep. the next one, and, and you wonder what happened <laughs> between yeah. sets there to, to, to see that. But 15-12, uh, you come away with a victory in that that final fifth set and, and just take it down to the wire. Coach, before I go any farther, you were also named the Coach of the Year in the NCCAA, and congratulations on that honor, and talk about what that means. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's a great honor. Um, I think when you can when you consider the NCCAA and, and, it, and it's NCAA Division II, teams and NCAA Division three and NAI programs. Um, I think it, it means a lot. I'm humbled by the opportunity uh, to be honored in that way. Um, ultimately, I think any coach of the year award is because you you have a good assistant coach or assistant coaches and you've got great players and uh, a great team. And we, we, I was fortunate enough to have that this year. Well, congratulations, Coach, and I, and I know that you do deserve that. Uh, you know, along with your staff and and team too. It, it's a, it's a team award, but yeah, I appreciate absolutely. that. Uh, you spent uh, a little while in in Point Lookout and had a, had a nice little run there, a five match winning streak. Now that you take into next season, but before you leave there, talk about the the playoffs as a whole. There, you get through pool play, and then, then you make your way through the the bracket, and of course into that championship. What was your trip like with your team? Yeah, so we. Going into it, um, you know, we were the number two seed and we had uh, uh, we had the very first opening round game um, at 9 a.m. on Thursday against the number three seed, which was Mid-America Christian. And Mid-America Christian actually played in the championship last year. And so we knew, you know, we had to start well. Um, we had to come in focused. Um, so we spent a lot of practice time even before we traveled to Point Lookout focusing on Mid-America Christian. And I thought we followed the scout uh, pretty well. Um, they're a tough team, uh, well-deserving of uh, being there and, and definitely could have been there in the championship. So um, I liked how we played. We were confident and calm throughout, um, weren't really emotional, which I think helped us. And then we had to play Ozarks, College of the Ozarks, the host school later that day, um, later that evening. And they've always played us tough. We've had a, we've had a rough um, kind of, PTSD moments over the last couple of years when we played them because it always comes down to us and we have a tiebreaker game. But, um, you know, earlier in the season, we played them. They came up to here and they they played us here at Trinity. And I felt like we developed some confidence for beating them and, and realizing that we know they're a good school. They're a good coach program. Um, but we just needed to kind of get that monkey off our back. So we had we swept them. But every game was 25-23, 25-22. And I think the last one was 30-28, just, just nail biter. Um, 
so because we won both, we, we got number one in our pool and ended up having to play number two in the other pool, which uh, was actually a familiar opponent. It was Judson uh, University from Elgin, who's actually in our conference. Mm -hmm. um, we had played them once prior during the regular season, and then we hosted them for the North Central Reach Championship. So um, we were lucky to win both those games, but obviously, you know, it's so different playing on a neutral court. And so um, they played well. Um, they challenged us. I didn't feel like we started particularly well, um, but I felt like that third and fourth set, we we found ourselves and started playing more like TIU volleyball. So, and coach, I appreciate that when when you have a, a a playoff run like that, and there are teams that you have some familiarity with, that uh, it it kind of makes those wins even that much more sweet. Yeah. Coming out and looking back on the other side, we're visiting with Luke Ward here on the summit on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please like the video, share the video, and please do consider subscribing to the channel. We would appreciate that. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And Coach, obviously, uh, uh, we talked about, about your honor. There are other players on this team that have been honored as well. Brianna Torres, who has had a fantastic year and an NCCA All-American, NAI All-American as well, yeah. most outstanding player in the tournament, and she has just had a great season for you. Yeah, she, I mean, this is no surprise if anybody's ever seen her play. This is her fifth year. This is her grad year. Um, she got an additional one with the COVID season. And she's always everybody's, you know, scouting report headache, you know, for the other <laughs> team. Um, she is so dynamic. And, and a lot of people talk about her offense, um, but just even her ability to pass, um, her ability to play defense, dig and block and serve tough. I mean, she's so dynamic and impacts our game in so many different ways. Um, I'm she's been recognized in past years for sure. And, and rightfully so. I felt like this year she made a change and it wasn't to win awards. It was just to be a better leader and to focus more on what she could do to make her game a little bit more polished and fine tuned. And um, I'm happy for her that she got that recognition. She was player of the year in our conference um and she's just she deserves and has earned every one of these awards and coach there were other players as well that, that received all tournament recognition too Jalen Freeman and Lana Vujosevic uh, among others on this team and I, and I know you could probably just go up and down the roster talking about what they've all meant to you yeah the mentioning Lana and Jalen was huge um we focus a lot on defense and both those both Lana Jalen and then Brianna um on our back line are so important. Um, they, all three of them typically lead us in digs um, or take turns, you know, being second in digs to Jalen, who's our libero. Um, the three of them have passed next to each other for now the last year, almost two years now. And so there's a, um, a comfortability that they have that they can work through. Um, if in case, you know, a team is trying to ace us or get us out of our system, out of system, and they do such a good job communicating with one another. And they're like, they really are like sisters. So those two were huge. Lana is so good offensively. Jalen's so good defensively. She was our libero of the year in our conference. Um, and then our, our setter, who I feel like is worth mentioning, she was so good um, all year, but especially at this tournament, she, you know, we're, we're playing three, four set matches and she's got 50 assists. Um, she, she was yeah. our quarterback. Um, did such a good job setting games up um, and we give her the autonomy. Um, she'll look at us at times to who should I set in this moment, but she was just so smart and her defense was so good too. Well, coach the season 30 and nine, uh, a 31 season is always something I'm sure to, to be pleased with proud of happy about uh, and, and with any season ups and downs, but you finish on a high note. Can you talk about this 2022 season then and, and what you'll remember from this team? Yeah, I'm, you know, I, going into it, I knew that we'd have a special team. We returned a lot from the year prior. And um, I think it was just about how are we going to uh, trust each other better? Um, I thought our trust was okay last year. I thought we could just do a better job um, just off the court and on the court, being able to communicate more effectively. And one of the things that I enjoyed most about this season was just, you know, the off the court time, you know, the travel to games, um, the team bonding, you know, it, it's obviously nice to win something, you know, a national championship who wouldn't want to win that. <laughs> um, but I felt like we won as a team all year, just because when we lost, we lost together. When we won, we won together. And it was, it wasn't always perfect. And we had our moments, but I think that's what I loved about it. It was human. It was, 
um, it was imperfect. It was bringing imperfect people together and, and buying into something larger than themselves. So ultimately, I don't think the impact of what has happened this year will, you know, it's 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 been a week, you know, so it's hard to really process that. But I've even told the the team it's going to take a while um, to really remember how important this season was. But I'm so proud of them that especially our seniors who have devoted and committed so much that they could right. go out on this note. Right. Well, you won't get much time to think about it then. Uh, you get a little bit of a break for Christmas, which, by the way, Merry Christmas to you. But uh, turn right back around because you coach the men's volleyball team as well. And you open your season with conference play. How about that? January 26th. I mean, that's a that's an interesting way to start. Um, yeah. So we're, this is actually the varsity um, opening varsity for the men's volleyball. We used to have men's volleyball. It was club last season, uh, but we're bringing it back. And uh, we're excited, you know, we, we're going to be the newest team in our conference, but our conference actually has quite a few new teams over the last couple of years. Um, love that we got to grow the men's game. And um, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. My, my assistant coach, uh, Kennedy, is also helping me out with that. So there's some comfortability there and how we can support one another. Um, and the guys have actually played a role in even just helping out our women's this season, this fall. So we hope to kind of see that happen in the spring semester for them as well. Well, coach, that that is that sounds great, and it's fantastic, and I, I appreciate that the sport is it seems to be growing also on the men's side. So uh, that is great. National champions, the NCCA national champions, Trinity International. Congratulations to you, Coach Luke Ward, and and to your team as well. And thank you for taking some time with us here today on the summit. Of course, I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. It's an honor.